In this video, we're going to show you how to onboard your Aruba Instant On 1930 switch into the Aruba Instant On portal and set up a couple of VLANs. This is the network setup that we are aiming for. In this section, we are going to onboard the switch onto the Aruba Instant On portal, set up our first network and connect one of our PCs. Let's go to the Google Play Store or Apple App Store, search for the Aruba Instant On app, then download and install it. Open the app and tap on Create an Account. Fill in your email address, choose a password, accept the end user license agreement and click on Create Account. Log in to your email account to complete the verification process. If you didn't receive an email, check your spam folder or try clicking on the resend link. After verifying your account, you should be able to continue and get started. The first thing to do is to set up a new site that Aruba Instant On devices will be using. In this example, we will start by setting up the switch. Tap continue. Make sure your switch is connected to the internet before continuing by plugging in your chosen uplink port to your local network. Wait until the cloud LED light is flashing green and amber before you try to discover your device. Switch serial number is required to complete device discovery. In this example, we will be using a built-in barcode scanner to enter the serial number. Tap on search for devices and your switch will be discovered by the Aruba Instant On portal. Tap on add device and you are ready to start configuring your network. Type in your network name, set your country, name your site and click activate. The network is now ready. Tap on the network tile on the top left corner. Here we can see our default network has been named after our site. Let's change that by tapping on the network and entering your network name. Tap on done once finished. We can see our network name change. Click on the inventory tile at the bottom right corner. Here we can see our switch. Let's give it a meaningful name. Let's scroll down to have a look at our port status. You can see port 1 is plugged into our router and it's been used for instant on portal management access as indicated by the cloud icon. Let's plug in our marketing PC into port 3. After a few moments, you will see port 3 status change to green. Tap the back button twice to go back to the dashboard. You will see one client connected. Click on the client tile to see more details and then click on the client itself. Let's give it a meaningful name for ease of troubleshooting. We can see it's connected to the marketing network through the office switch on port 3 at 1 gigabit per second. Tap back twice to go back to the dashboard. This is what's been set up so far. In the next section we will create VLAN 2 for finance, connect port 2 to the finance router and configure port 4 to connect to the finance PC. On your dashboard, click on the networks tile. Tap on the plus icon at the bottom right to create a new network. Give it a name and a VLAN ID and tap done. You can see our finance VLAN has been created. Tap on the inventory tile at the bottom right corner and tap on our office switch. Scroll to the bottom and tap on networks tab. You can see that all ports are untagged on our marketing VLAN by default and tagged on finance VLAN. We need to untag ports 2 and 4 on finance VLAN. To do so, select port 2 and tap on port details. Scroll down, select specific network only option, select finance network and tap done. Repeat the same process for port 4. I'm going to clean up this config by removing finance network from ports 1, 3, 5 and 6. Select port 1, click on port details. Select default network only and click on done. Select port 3 and click on port details. Select specific network only, ensure marketing is the selected network and click on done. Repeat for ports 5 and 6. We can now see that finance network is untagged only on ports 2 and 4 where our finance router and PC are connected and it's tagged on ports 7 and 8 where our access points are going to be connected. Marketing network has been removed from ports 2 and 4 where it's not required. Let's connect our finance router and PC to ports 2 and 4 respectively. After a few moments, you will see the status on those ports change to green. 
click back twice to get back into the dashboard. You should be able to see that we have two active networks and that two clients are connected to our network. Click on the clients tile and click on our newly connected client and you can see it's connecting to our finance network through the office switch on port 4 at 1 gigabit per second. Let's give it a meaningful name. Click back and select our marketing PC and you can see that it's connecting to our marketing network through the office switch on port 3. Click back twice to get back to the dashboard. So far, we have set up two networks with two uplinks and two PCs. In this section, we're going to extend our networks wirelessly through an AP11D. Connect the access point to port 7. Now let's click on the inventory tile, select our office switch and scroll down to status section. We can see our AP connected and drawing power on port 7 as indicated by the lightning icon. Click back twice. Tap on the hamburger icon in the top left corner and select add a new device. Wait for the LED lights to flash green and amber before you click on search for my device. Once your AP has been discovered, click on add device. As soon as your AP has been onboarded, a wizard will launch to set up your first wireless network. Remember this SSID will be bridged into your default VLAN which will be marketing network in our example. I'm going to call it marketing accordingly choose a password and click on finish. Now we need to create our finance wireless network. Click on the plus in the bottom right corner. Select create a wireless network, give it an appropriate name and set a password. Scroll down to more options section and click on IP and network assignment. We need to bridge this network into finance. Click back and done. Here we can see a newly created finance network bridging into a finance VLAN. Let's click on inventory and select our AP. Give it a meaningful name and click back twice. Now we can see that we have two wide and two wireless networks, two devices as well as two clients that are connected. Now I'm going to connect my laptop to the finance wireless network. You can see my number of clients increases to three. Click on the client's tile and select the newly connected client. Give it a meaningful name. And here we can see that it's connected to a wireless finance network through Office AP on 2.4 GHz radio with good signal quality. And there you have it. Check out our other Aruba Instant On videos at instanton.club. <laughs>